on the previous episode. What's up guys? How y'all doing? Oh, I guess I need to turn that down. Alright, so all I'm doing is um, prepping for the week, my work week. It's Saturday and um, this is my attire for Saturday. Okay? I got my nails done yesterday. Hee hee. Hee hee. Yes, the first time in what? Three years? Yeah. And I let her do my lashes and my brows. She kind of jacked me up a little bit, but it is what it is. Let me see what's going on. Since he turned two, it's been nothing but wine, wine, wine. That is what drives me crazy the most. Oh my gosh. Like, whew, just stop crying already. But I know he's in that stage where, you know, he can't talk. His vocabulary is limited. So, yeah. But today, I put him on the pot. And got him some pull-ups, so he's got his pull-ups on right now. And he went pot pot. He asked for it, and he went pot pot. He is really smart, though. I have to say, he is a smart kid. His brother too. His brother AJ. He's a smart kid too. So, but yes, guys, I didn't want anything. Just um, coming in here. And show you how I get my work week started and um, yeah so what what y'all got planned for this week anything special what's your days off what do you do on your off days you know just wondering what y'all do on y'all off days go in your room please Yes, ma'am. So, yeah, this is all pretty much what I'm going to do today. I didn't do no cleaning. Don't go in your room, Jamari. Or oh, that fall on you. I didn't want to go nowhere today. Been kind of rainy. So, plus, I was tired. I just wanted to chill out in the house. He think I'm talking to him. Okay. Yes. But you need to pick that food up over there off the floor and throw it away. Go pick that stuff up and throw it away on the floor. Yeah, over there. Go pick it up. He's in this thing with throwing food on the floor too. Y'all know that irks me. <laughs> I think the 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 biggest change when you um, are in this situation with raising um, kids all over again, you know, whether it be you started 
over again late in your years with your own pregnancy or if you are um, in a situation like myself. Um, it's giving up your independence, giving up, you know, the freedom to go and come as you please. And most of the time, that's the hardest part for me, is not being able to go and come as I please. And I do, I have to admit, that gets under my skin because this didn't have to happen, okay? Um, and I put the fault on... Um, I don't really like to use the word fault, but I believe most of the responsibility should go to um, their mom, um, and then the the system itself, because you know, like I said previously in the video, it this was not a a drug case or anything like that. It just Irresponsibility. That, that's what it was. Just being irresponsible. And um, I think that had they taken different measures. But again, I do have to say that God at the end had the last decision. So for whatever reason, he saw fit for the boys to be with me. And so... That's what we're going to do. I'm just saying that I always looked at myself as <laughs> um, not a hands-on parent, if I could put it like that. I'm not that, I'm not a hands-on type of parent. I, I see myself as some dads where I'm going to get you the money, I get you the clothes, whatever you need, I got you. <laughs> um, so, you know, this it's hard. It's hard for me right now. Um, you know, especially me being in my early 50s. My, my plans was to be living it up, traveling, you know, because I had did what I needed to do um, for my kids. You know, I raised them, got them, you know, ready for life or whatever. Some took heat, some didn't. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. But, you know, I just... This was not, this was not in the plan. You know, my plan was to, you know, get them in the summertime. You know, hers and, and my other um, two children, I was going to get their kids. Get them for the weekend, get them for the summer, whatever the case may be. And then go on back home. Not 24-7 raising kids all over again that that just was not in um the plans but here we are because god said so uh let me see i'm trying to see what else i need to cut up mm -mm -mm -mm. um i think that might do it Cause I already, um, I already prepped for the, I already prepped for the, um, crab meat to go in the salad. That's all I've been doing. I'm, I'm back on my no meat cause I got to get rid of this. I'll be looking back on my videos and I'm like, oh my God, look at that stomach. Uh, so yeah, I got to do something about that. So yeah. Uh, doing no meat so only salad and what I put in my salad of course is the spinach the carrots crab meat cucumbers the um, croutons I also put in uh, my 
chia seed and my flax seeds. So I put that in the salad as well. And I use ranch dressing, that's my favorite. Um, so I do use that. And what I normally eat is um, So the school sends home some some little food things. So I use, I eat this, the chicken and rice. AJ, can you not be so loud, please? You, you're too loud, and I'm trying to talk. Okay. So I eat this for lunch. And then I have um, like some egg rolls or something like that. So anything that's no no meat in it is what I'm going to do. Alright guys, let me get off of here because now the kids want to start coming out the room. Of course, that's another thing is it, it interrupts my video time, you know. Cause I want I want the videos to look a certain way, and with the yelling and things in the background is just <laughs> I know it's a part of it, but I mean come on I'm 53, like certain things just don't get under your skin, it it really is. Um, any of y'all going through this? Like are are any of you? Uh, let me bring you over here. I gotta wash dishes. So I'm just wondering, do you know anybody um, that's kind of in this situation where they had to, you know, start over um, raising kids or whatever? And you guys know I love my I love my grandson. I love all my grandkids, but I, I got all boys, and I got two two girls. Um, but do you guys like? It's hard. Like it's really hard. You know, sometimes like today was one of those days. I just wanted to chill. Sleep, you know, maybe maybe run to Atlanta and do some window shopping or whatever. But it's so much work to get them dressed, get myself dressed, get them in the car, drive. Then, you know, I got to use the bathroom now. I'm halfway there. So now you got to pull over. Get them unbuckled. Get them out. Get them in the into the bathroom. Bring them back out. Get them buckled up and get back on the road. It's just like, oh my gosh. So that's why a lot of times I will do my little shopping while they in school. I'm off Friday and Saturday. So I will do my my little run to Georgia and do my little shopping while they in school because you know that's my only outlet that's the only time that I have by myself you know and um, I try to take advantage of that because I don't want to get overwhelmed frustrated you know from just being parent 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 you know But yeah, I I, just, I know out here in the area that I'm living in, um, there's a lot of grandparents that's raising their, you know, their grandkids. And they much older than me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how are they doing it? Like, I guess for me it's a little bit harder because I'm younger than they are. So I'm, I'm like... 
already cheated myself out of a life, quote unquote, because I had my kids at an early age. So I felt like, you know, I turned that actually into a positive and I was like, okay, well, at least when they are grown, I'll still be vital and young. You know, 44, I was done. I was done with my last kid. So, you know, I'm like, okay, well, she out the way and I can start living for Gina because I put everything that I wanted to do on the back burner until, you know, she was done and kind of knew which way she wanted to go. So I was like, yes, you know, it's time to, to go ahead and get, get it in. Like I said, I wanted to travel. I wanted to see things. I put all that stuff on the back burner, you know, because that's what you have to do as a parent. Not knowing this was coming. So, you know, I just kind of feel like I've been and going to be a parent for, and we are parents for the rest of our lives. However, <laughs> I didn't expect to have to start over again, you know, so, I don't know, I just feel like some sometimes, and I'm just going to be honest with you guys, sometimes I feel like what, what did I get out of life, like what did I and you know, parenting, yes, it's the most important job in the world. I understand that. I do. I understand that. But I didn't get to live life. You know, and it's not over. It's not what I'm saying. My life is not over. Um, totally, I could, I could start over. Um, and I could travel with them. You know, if that's, if that's what it is, I could go ahead and start over and um, travel with them but the way that I am like I want to date I want to find I want to get married you know and all that and the way that I am I don't bring I don't bring men around my kids so you know I'm not going to bring a man around my grandkids you know so I think that's probably the biggest thing that's kind of getting to me is because, you know, if I want to have a date and I want to cook dinner or, I, you know, I want to have a movie night or something like that, I can't do that because my boys are here. And I don't, I'm not having just anybody coming around. And I don't mean I picked the wrong kind of guys to see. But I don't like various men. And when you dating, you you dating. You know, it's not about intimacy. It's not about, you know, all that um, sin and stuff. It's about dating. What dating is, which is, you know, you're keeping your options open. And in order to do that, you date, you date people. <laughs> You date different people. And so, um, that's how you end up, you know, okay, nope, he not the one, nope, he not the one, nope, he not the one. But I can't do that, and I feel like time is running out for you guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm 53. How much time do I got left? <laughs> so... I don't know. I just needed to vent today. And I needed somebody to listen to me. So y'all was available. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I bend your ear a little bit. I'm still positive. I'm still upbeat. You know, none of that. But every now and again, people need to be able to vent. And this is one of my times. I needed to vent. And I want to talk to my friends. Y'all my friends. Y'all my fancy beauties and bows. And if, if they can't talk to nobody else, I know I can talk to y'all. So, 
that's what it is i just i just need to get it off my chest because it's been on there for a while and it was getting a little heavy so i need to get it off <laughs> now i can move on so i hope you guys been enjoying the videos um as far as the home decor and all that stuff is concerned i got more coming for you maybe i'm not sure what order this is gonna go up i got a wig review coming two two of them I got two of those coming up um i may talk about these faux locks i like these faux locks and i'll I'll go into more detail about that um, in another video because I can't remember the brand that I purchased. But I'm having fun with them. They're, they're, they're pretty pretty good for my first time. But next time I know how to do them better. So let me get off of here because AJ is being rude back there and being loud because he know I'm video recording and he being loud back there. So let me get off of here so I can see what they doing. I got to get dinner on so they can eat. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for listening. Y'all stay prayed up and I am staying prayed up. I'm staying focused on God. I'm staying positive. So y'all do the same. If y'all need a... a here i'm here for you too just go and get on the little keyboard and start typing 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 and um we could talk about it amongst family us is this us is this okay um and i won't say your name of course so you can just throw me a dm and uh we'll talk about it and get some opinions sometimes that helps we have more than um, one one um, viewpoint. So, anywho, I gotta go. I got some more videos to edit, so I need to get to that. It is uh, quarter to seven, so I kind of want to get in bed early. I got clothes I gotta wash, and probably pedal around here a little bit more. You know, as far as cleaning up and stuff like that. So, bye!